had four of everything. So when I sold Gross. all my lotuses and my moxes and all that shit, I bought a car with it for like, you know, I, I got like, you know, a good ten thousand dollars for that shit. Good for and you. I was, like, I was like, I was like, oh, I'm balling. This is great. Now I was just mm-hmm. buying a house with it, but fuck it, man. Like, time was good. Yeah. It's kind of like crypto. absolutely. Like, I don't lose. I don't lose sleep over when I exit crypto. Like it's all. I mean, never go broke taking a profit. Either. I have a question. With uh, fabled cards, are we able to proxy a card in the deck and then show it? Yeah, absolutely. I don't, see, I don't see why not. We actually let, here right now. We're letting people do any proxy they want. Oh wow! Okay. So you can absolutely do it that way. Like uh, we're playing. Did not know games. that. Wow. <laughs> Did you hear that, James? <laughs> Did not know that. Yeah, so if you, we right. want you to play your maximum decks, right? Like, we're here to, like, test the meta, right? That's what we're here Yeah, to. I feel you. I like that. That's cool. You, I'm cool with that. We are Man. not here to be, like, competitive killer, like, tournaments. Like, we're here to be like, hey, this is fun. Let's have a beer, sit down, and have a good time, right? So if you need a card or two proxied, whatever, we don't care. If it was a bigger tournament, like, we will have bigger tournaments, then we will. And I, I'm speaking for Lee right now because he's stuffing his face with Jimmy Donald like an asshole. Didn't tell you <laughs> But, uh, but like, our, our philosophy is more about having a good time and building a community. So, like, the idea is, like, when you come, like, especially, like, now, like, where it's, uh, like, yeah. early, like, we don't, we we know that people don't have all the cards yet. Like, not everybody can get all the cards. They're not all dumb like me. Or <laughs> me. Just, yeah, I, I buy cases on cases. Just <laughs> <laughs> so, but, yeah, like, I, I don't think, I hope you guys never feel angst from playing at any of our tournaments. Because our tournaments are meant to be casual and laid back. So, people can always ask about proxies. And most of the time, they're okay. Not always, nice. because we sometimes okay. will do a serious tournament. Like I um, do have one proxy in then. Yeah, you're fine. I'm pretty sure that's fine. Cool. As long as you're happy. Uh, we'll see. I mean, you just and make sure your opponent clearly knows what the proxy card is and all that. Blah blah blah. I mean, but I just turned a card backwards, and yeah, when it comes fine. up, just I'll show them. it to him. Yeah, I mean, you could just tell them that there's a proxy in my deck, and this is the card. Put it there where they can see it, and then. When the card shows up, I'll flip it over if you don't want to tell them exactly what it is. But okay, but, um, yeah, I think that's fine. Too easy. Do it that way. I'm yeah. okay with that. I need to. I need to get a um. Nice. A one nice. touch for it. Oh, I I got some. Do you need me to send you some of those? I got like a ton of them. Do you? Uh, I might actually do that then. I I mean I'm not using them. I don't like them. Hmm. I literally bought them. What's the uh, what's the other company that's making them right now? Uh, I want to say Game Genic dropped some, or they're they're pr- oh, oh my bad. I was gonna say they're kind of nice. <laughs> All right, let me mute myself in Discord just so I can go ahead and give you a quick uh, synopsis of what's going on tonight. So tonight we're doing a classic constructed tournament so what that means is that there are two formats for flesh and blood right now uh the first one is called blitz and so blitz comprises a 40 card deck seven of us or is so i have 60 right here and i have 63 actually and 60 is the minimum required deck size for a classic constructed tournament so we have two versions of heroes. Right, so yeah, we currently have this... five signed up, so I will fill in the sixth spot. Um... Yep. And let me go ahead and unmute, and we're going <laughs> to see if we can get right to it, man. Um... <clears throat> uh, that's okay. That doesn't matter. I, I do, I do kind of want to play a little bit, because I'm still trying to get used to my deck, too, but... But I generally do prefer to sit out on Sunday events than a posting just because it's easier to be able to stream and host and play. Uh, and not judge. play. Yeah, and judge. And maybe though I'm not a judge, but but if you're going to be around, then you can be a judge. So. I'm not a judge. Don't put that voodoo on me. i got to take my test tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the second time will be easy. First time was like you go in and you're like nervous and you're just like, I wonder what they're going to ask you. I don't even know study this so much crap and then you get it you're like well, i just slow down and read and did some of the actual uh, note surfing that i'm supposed to do like because it, it, it's basically yeah dude i missed one extra question online i feel bad Neat. 
78 percent. <clears throat> So before I was interrupted, <laughs> so here we have a young, it's going to be really hard to see for the camera. It's really, it's dumb, but I'm going to be playing Briar tonight. You can see her card in my stream. You can see her ability there in my stream and what she does. Um, so I need to be focused on right. making sure I get my embodiments created when I'm allowed to create them because that's really going to be kind of key to uh, getting long-term damage out deck, so, so um, we're going to see how that goes and yeah I got stomped earlier I'm so excited <clears throat> I got stomped earlier in a commoner blitz I played the new guardian the uh <laughs> no, he saw that I paired the round, so he probably just zipped over to the table. Um, just um, yeah, I'm just trying to get the last details posted for the uh, announcements. Cool. <laughs> That's funny. Why stay here on table one? Haha. 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 Oh, wait until what time is it gonna start? <clears throat> what can I say except the welcome? Me and you, James. Me and you. Don't be cheap, bro. 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, you fuck. That's all like me and my friends. <laughs> <laughs> How many rounds are we probably gonna do? Three? Yeah. Three. Is it starting right now? Yeah. Hi, right, James. Table two. Table two? Oh. Uh. Turn on camera. Pop out. Pop out the camera. So you can see the thing in the stream. Hey, don't forget because you're streaming, you'll have to turn off the stream first and then. Turn the camera on for the web, and then go back. That's why you're spinning. The what? <clears throat> spinning? Yeah. This thing? Watch us, cheaters! Hey, this is a proxy. Oh. A backwards. Oh, I got it. Wait, hold on. Popped out the window. Wait, what? What do I need to do to get rid of the spin? So are you streaming right now on Streamlabs? Yes. So you have to back off the Streamlabs, turn your camera off and on on Discord, and then start your stream back up. Or, so, or you can go to Streamlabs, turn on um, the stream uh, camera. Virtual streaming, yeah. Virtual streaming, and then you can come back here, turn your camera on, and then switch it to Streamlabs and virtual, and it will actually stream your, like, your whole OBS system. Yeah. Uh, this is really stupid because I've not had this issue before and I just did it the other day. <laughs> okay. I'm going to watch this. Show it up on the screen. Yeah, let's, let's check it out. <clears throat> yep. Use your settings on bottom? No, no, you just hit video, start your video screen, and then it says, like, you'll have, like, a pull down menu, open it, and it'll say Streamlabs OBS Virtual Camera. You'll click on that, and you'll turn that on, and you'll click Liberty Man, and then you can see Oh, I'm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's because it's, stream, it's trying to stream my XSplit virtual camera, not my actual camera. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. <laughs> awesome. Alright, so this is a proxy. Hold on here. This is... Close that one. Okay, we're all set up. Alright, sir. <laughs> So proxy, just so you know, it's just the back of the card. Okay. When it comes up, you'll know what it is. Okay. Alrighty, let's try this out. I need to shuffle because I, it's not shuffled. Briar, briar, briar. Briar, briar. The actual deck now. The 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 good on. Should pay the nineteen dollars a month and do multi. What for YouTube? Yeah, you can do YouTube. You can do Facebook. You can do all of them at the same time. You can do other ones. You can do TikTok. You can do. Yeah, uh -oh. that's why I'm only doing Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> That is interesting. <laughs> Trust me, I had a All the fine told print. Me. I had a friend I had a friend that told me about it and I just looked it up because I thought he was a total bit at least because the Streamlabs will basically have you pay for it, right? Like they're like, Yeah, you can do this. Like you're like, Yeah, and all of a sudden they'll be like, Yeah, yeah. This is only for people who have actually like an X amount of value with them. Yeah. You have to have like a certain level to be able to do that. Oh. Oh man. Sir. Very interesting. What's everybody drinking tonight, huh? We're in the tavern. Man, I like wish I had something right now. I sh this was literally the shortest notice I could have gotten. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. It's it's not your posting. It's it's being told an hour before, hey, you should play this constructed classic with me. And I'm like, what? Yes. That, that was really <laughs> okay. I, I, I got him in here. I think, right, let's roll. I think we're good. All right. Four. Uh, two. Cut. And cut. Oh, man. That's very uh, bad for you, I guess. I guess I'm going yeah. first. All right. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and mm, man, there's... the synergy between these cards is what I'm trying to decide. So, all right, um, we're gonna play Weave Lightning. Uh, it's a plus three. It's a red, so it's plus three, and. Gonna go ahead and go with Arcanic Shockwave as the attack, and I'm gonna go ahead and fuse it with Electrify. So coming in for how much? So they're coming in for when you attack with Arcanic Shockwave. If it was fused, it deal one Arcane, so one plus three so far, and then three physical, so six physical and one Arcane. One for the no room for arcane. 
and then six damage. Let's do uh, block five. Block five, taking one. Yep, taking one. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> And we'll arsenal here, okay. and I will pass it over to you. All right, seems seems like a good turn. I will go ahead and draw up. Two. Yep. Nice, I like it. All right, uh, take two nick up to one. I'm going to pitch a blue and Vulcan old double fuse with pulse for nine dominate. Nine dominate. On hit, you'll, I'll be able to pluck two cards and randomly put them on the bottom of your deck. Okay. We'll use either for one, and you now they're all, yeah, they're all two. So we're going to be able to block three of that. So three? Yeah, three block. Taking six. Taking six. All right, and then two random cards from your hand go on the bottom of your deck. Uh, one, this two, is one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you'll keep two, so you'll keep the one your fingers on. The other two go on the bottom. Bottom of deck. Bottom of the deck. Okay. And then with that, I will arsenal and pass. Okay. Oh, wow. Hmm. <laughs> I shuffled, everybody watched. I just want to point that out. Yes. Uh, da, da, da. <clears throat> um, all right. Pitch red, swing with thorn. For just two. For right? two. Yeah, just the uh, two. Block three. Okay. And that's it there. Alright. My go to tunic up. And not gonna like it, but uh pitch of blue, oak and hold double fused again. Gosh damn. What did you Everybody do? Everybody watched me shuffle. I had the 10. What did you do? <laughs> yeah. Like, I shuffled. I promise. Okay. Um, I need to tilt this because I already defended with that. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, all right. Which one of these is going to do it? Uh, uh, only one of them. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, only. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do three. Uh, reacts. No reacts. I have one defense reaction. Very nice, very nice. Sigil. Ooh, an arcane. Mm. One arcane. Take that arcane. That takes, like, that makes it a total six block. If I take the arcane, correct? Um, let's see, deal one arcane damage to the attacking hero. If you have dealt arcane damage this turn, Sigil of Suffering gains plus one. So it's not, I didn't gain or deal anything earlier, so uh, it's just the three that's on it. Um, if it does the arcane here, though, it'll gain the plus. So three, three, so six, it's still going to do three. Um, I guess I'll take the arcane. That's fine. I'll take the one arcane. Okay. And then, so it gets the buff. So how much is it blocking? So that total? would be four total, so seven, seven. total block. And you, you'll take two. So I'll take two. And you'll just pick it, so pick two random cards again. Okay. Finger is card one. Card one. You will keep that same card again. Ah, look at that. All right, and then I will pass over to you. Okay. Uh, clean that up here. <clears throat> I 
that is a I'm gonna go ahead and keep that um, fairly certain I can play it from Arsenal I mean you could play cards from Arsenal right on like you can play defensive re reactions from Arsenal and on your turn you can like play a card yeah play play the card okay yeah I'm gonna Arsenal this one and pass it over to you Take tunic up here, and then All right, I'm going to pitch three for a terrace under next attack gains dominate plus one, and then pitch four and use tunic. For a Spinal Crush, 10 Dominate, on hit you'll discard 2 cards, and if it has Crush, if it deals 4 or more damage, but action cards, activate abilities, and attacks they control, lose and can't gain go again during their next attack phase. Mm. So 10 Dominate, discard 2, Crush. Very sexy. I Very like sexy. It. That's a good card. <clears throat> Uh, yep, that'll be the defense there, and that is not okay. Yep, we're gonna do three block. Three block, so taking seven. Taking seven. Two, five, six, seven, and you discard. You get to discard two random cards. Okay. Um, bu -bu -bu. All right, we're going to take those two. All right. Okay. <clears throat> and then I will pass over to you. Mm, I want that. Yeah. Let's see. And so the crush effect hits, so um, action cards, activate abilities, and attacks they control, lose, and can't gain, go again for the turn. All right, let's go ahead and uh, <coughs> that doesn't. Yeah, that doesn't play. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with what I've got. I'm gonna go ahead and pass over to you. Block four. Block four. Block is good. I will arsenal pass. Uh, ice card on the bottom, so channel eight gets a marker. Okay. And stays out for your turn. Okay. And remind me what channel lake does. <clears throat> so channel lake reads cards and activate <laughs> abilities cost opposing heroes an additional resource. Okay, so it's like a. It's kind of like frostbite. It's a permanent frostbite, though, like so a, like everything a... you do costs an additional resource. Okay. 
and it doesn't go away. <laughs> okay. Even for zeros, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Which is rough, um, okay, so let's do... are not being nice to me right now. Yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead and break vexing. Give me two there. Um, Vexing was a. That should have cost you one resource, I think. Is that because it's an activate ability? It's uh, action, destroy, create two yep. room chance, go again. Okay. Yep, so that costs you one. Let's go ahead, we'll go ahead and pitch the two here. So that's uh, one, one resource left here. Okay. Yep. So and da, 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 da. and we're gonna go ahead and swing with Rosetta. Um, whenever you attack, if you played an attack action card, so I did not play an attack action card. So the Correct. the so normal the damage two, there, and then the two room chance. Yep. Um, that does cost two. Uh, okay, so I have one resource. All right, I'll go ahead and pitch this bad boy then to bring it up to two for the attack. Yep. Okay. So four total. Yeah. No defense. N no. I will take four. And that should clean it up. Alrighty. <clears throat> Alright. Broken. I will, I will uh, pitch an ice. Okay. Blue. Actually, no. I will tick tunic up to two. I'll pitch a blue ice. I'm going to play Rouse the Ancients and show you two Thunderquakes for 16 damage. And so with 13 or more total, uh, Rouse the Ancient gets plus 7 and go again. So it's coming at you for 7 and go again. Mm. <laughs> And Channel Lake is still active. Uh, sir, that's bullshit. <laughs> I know. <It's laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Channel Lake is rough. Go ahead and put three out there for now. Okay. And. So blocking doesn't cost you anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Reactions and stuff. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take the rest of that here. Okay. So take it. So four. yeah, four. And then with go again, I will pitch a blue ice for Winter's Will for four with ice effect. Hmm. And now I have two ice pitches, so Channel Lake gets to stay out one more turn. Golly. Yeah, it's rough. Mm. All right. 
right, let's let's go ahead and block the four. Block the four. Okay. And then at the end of my turn, I'm gonna heave three by pitching a blue and putting a blue thunderquake in my arsenal face up. So I get three seismic surge tokens. And I'm putting two ice on the bottom, so channel eight gets a second marker and stays out for your turn. Mm. Brutal. Maybe. So two marker is plus two. So no, the two markers is uh, channel lake. Channel ice reads at the beginning of my end phase. I put a build counter on channel lake, then destroy it unless I put an ice card from my pitch zone on the bottom of the deck for each counter flow. So in order for this to stay out on my next turn, I have to pitch three ice cards. Ah. Which I promise you I don't have. <laughs> Fucking A. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's rough, man. I, I know. Got it. I got it. It's all right. Um, fuck. The thing about it is that I have to get cards out of your hand, and that's that's the fucking issue. Yeah, that makes sense. Especially with what what I have showing right now. Okay. Um. Let me go ahead and break crown in order to... Oh, it's going to cost me an action in order to destroy it, and it's going to be two total. Okay, so we're not yeah, going to do that right now. Oh, man. Okay, uh, I'm just going to have to draw up and pass it over to you. Yep. Okay. Seems fair. Not really. Yeah, no, it's um, not. But <laughs> up to three. Seismic Surge pops. Which I like is still alive. Um, I'm going to... Is that one not there? Eight cards either way. Um, let's go ahead and... Get this guy out. Four, five, six. Yep, I'm just going to pitch pitch a blue here, pay the blue three and seismic for thunderquake for eight. No on hit effects. Eight, eight, eight. The channel lake still active. Do two. Let's do Let's do four. And yeah, let's do four. No reactions. Mm, no defense reactions. Okay, I'm going to pitch three, and we're going to do Inspire Lightning for one. Um, let's see, brings me down two resource. I'm going to fuse it with Lightning Press, okay. 
and since it's fused it's going to deal one arcane Okay, as a attack reaction, I'm going to go ahead and play Lightning Press to give it three. Was that an attack card? I don't know what inspired like. No, it's a... No, 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 no. You're right, you're right, you're right. It's a... This is an elemental room blade action. One arcane damage, and then what's the, what else? It's, it's just, it's just the, uh, just the yeah. Um, so you got the one. I'll go ahead and break Snapdragons to give it go again. Uh, the hang on, the inspired lightning isn't an, an attack though, right? It's just a non-attack. Uh, yeah, it's a room blade action. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, so you can't break Damn. Snapdragon. Yeah, correct, correct. <clears throat> uh, bu, bu, bu. Let's. No, go again. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and. Arsenal and pass. All right. This is where things get sticky. All right. I'm going to E strike. For five, bottom decking. Ah, fuck. Those stupid cards. There. So, E strike for five, go again. Two cards in hand. Five, go again. How much? Uh, that's two for now. And. Okay, we're going to add three for a total of five. Okay, and then we go again. I'm going to pay tunic and six more for a macho blue for eight dominate. Mm hmm. No on hit effects. Mm. We'll put three out there. Okay. Taking five? Yeah. Five. All right, and then I will pass over to you. All right. First one is scar for scar. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's a thing. That's a um, thing. Coming in for four. Is it on hit go again? No, if if I have less than you, it, it, it gains go again automatically. Yeah, it just gains go again automatically. Okay. Um, so I'm going to block Crater and uh, three. So blocking four. All right. I'm going to go ahead and play Lightning Press on it. Attack action card. Yeah. So it gains plus three. Plus three. Yep, yeah, I take three. Okay. Should be it. My turn's gone. My turn. I will take two up to one. I will pitch.
catch an ice blue to swing Winter's Whale for four. Iced. Four iced. up, making my three seismic surge tokens. Okay. And passing them. Okay, I'm going to use pulse. Um, what are we going to use here? Target Earth, Lightning, and or Elemental Action cards from Graveyard. Uh, or Elemental Action. Okay. Does a action include attack action? Uh, it says up to two target earth, lightning, and or elemental action cards from your graveyard on top of your deck. Yes, yeah, so action cards covers both non-attack action and action. As long as it says like that. Yeah, either an elemental earth or lightning. Those are the three. So like you can put the uh, electrifies, uh, lightning presses, um, to uh, I don't know. They go back on top of your deck. Yeah, yeah. I'm just setting it aside there. Throw that there. It says, uh, but, but it's a go again, but it says banish pat, uh, pulse. So I don't, it goes in the banish zone, but what does that mean after? It, pretty much it's gone. Um, like, I want to say, Rune Blade heroes can use this, mainly yeah. chain. So it's pretty much just gone from the game. Yeah. Oh, I put, the, okay, those go on top. But it was a non attack action, so. It's a non-attack action that you played. Yeah. So the non-attack. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and pitch one for Rosetta. Two, right? Yes. Uh, I'll take two. Okay. All right. One, one second. Okay, so that was the that was the action phase. Okay, passing over to you. Ow! Rosetta was there. Okay, should be good. My turn. Yes. Okay, right, I'm gonna take two. Go to two. Seismic pops. Um, I'm going to pitch my fabled card, which is the fabled. So I instantly create a seismic circle. And then with the three 
resources, I will play the three resources there and the seismic surge. I will play Thunderquake from Arsenal for eight. 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 Oh my god. Azrael. Sorry. <clears throat> oh my god. Yeah. That card's staying. Three. I feel like I want more freaking. Uh, I need more defense on my equipment, though. That's what I really need. <clears throat> um. Mm -mm. All right, we're gonna block for three. Just me, I'm going to pitch a blue to pay two for red pummel. Adding four more, and on hit you'll discard one card. Mm -hmm. Fucking pummel. <laughs> Fucking yeah, pummel. Red, red pummel. Oh, I don't have any defense reactions, so. Okay, so 12, you block three. Yeah. So it's nine total. Damn. <laughs> and then you get to pick a card to discard. Alrighty. Um, go ahead and put that out. I will Arsenal pass. Okay. I'm putting my fable back over here and body decking it. Drawing up. Pitch one, Rosetta. Uh, I'll take two. Okay. Arsenal pass. I'm gonna block for two and sigil for the rest of it. So it's a zero total. Okay, that's fair. And then, so how many cards in here? Two. Uh, that's fine. Then I'll pitch a blue and swing as well for uh, four. Entry's whale for four. Uh, okay, no initial block. Block three with the sigil and uh, I can't use this as a defense reaction because it's not a defense reaction. So, okay, so I take the rest of that, and then that should be game. Alrighty, and yeah, my cards, yeah, my cards were not playing nice with me at all. No, they weren't. I noticed. Well, it didn't help that I opened 
with so I, my opening hand was oak and old and pulse so i kept those two and blocked with the other two and then i oak and old you on my first turn and then i drew oak and old again you saw me <laughs> shuffle i did the mass shuffle yeah so that probably won't happen again tonight <laughs> well, that was a very i was i was just like oh my god there's no way like yeah. when you spend the cards blocking it's just like fuck <laughs> yeah. And all my shit coming out was like, hey, your next card will do this. And I was like, oh, well, great, because I just used that next card to block a freaking 8 Dominate yeah. or uh, a 12 Dominator or whatever the fuck it was. So. Yeah, it was <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's all good. It's all good. First classic constructed. I'd rather it be you than anyone else. Fuck it. So... I know you play Oldham as well. Um, those Thunderquakes are ridiculous. It's so, pretty crazy. Yeah. Especially if you don't have seeds. If you're not using seeds, it's even better. Because you're not worried about doing seeds effect at all. I still like using seeds because if I don't have it in my arsenal, I can just park, you know, seeds and get my five card hand. Um, kind of worth it for that yeah and i do like that fable and like pitch it it's a pitch for three and you gain it, it it's almost like pitching for four because you make that seismic surge for your next turn i didn't use it i didn't need it but having it yeah 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 nice riddick all right man i'm gonna i think we jump into lobby chat yeah uh we got a report right Okay. Uh, Got to get on the the thing I'm a jigger and report. Uh, Round one. Okay. Lost. Yep. I'm gonna jump. Okay. Alrighty. See you in a bit. All right. Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty rough, but that's all good because we're here to have fun. Who cares? Okay, I'm getting blown up some more. Dun, 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 dun. Where's the other guys? I don't know. There's, there should be at least one more pair, right? Yeah, I think they might have just finished. I was wondering the same thing. I didn't see it. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, you got it. You just have to get reps with that fire deck. <clears throat> yeah, freaking... I, I'm, I'm finding that out. Like when I try to switch between, like today I played the other guardian and it just. Hey, uh... Yeah. You are. Yeah. Almost. Okay. Uh oh. That's fine. <laughs> I think I know what he's talking about before he even says anything. been paired um good luck everybody all right Hear me? 
Yes, I can. Can you hear me and see me? Uh, yes, sir. Alrighty. What deck are you playing? I'm playing Briar. Oh yeah, different another briar. Played oh, against uh, I played against uh oh my god, I forgot. Uh, uh Oldham, yeah. Ah. So what happened is it was kind of like it was I, I was doing good until I came and then I I lost the blood death, but I banished six and they're all misses. But oh, wow. So, lucky. But he, was, he played good too, so. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and do a 50-50 uh, cut. If you want anything different, just uh, let me know. Would you like to ro uh, roll a two-sided tie? Uh, I don't have a, like a coin. <laughs> I got six. I've got a six also. No, I got a six and a two. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I got six total. Good luck to you too, man. Let's have a good game. Are you? I'm sorry. Are you going first? Oh, you're going first. Did oh. I say that? Oh, I I must have missed it. I'm like sitting over here, like, oh, I'm getting ready to figure out what he's gonna do and all this other stuff. Yeah, no, no. Okay, all right. I'm going first. Got you. Um, let us go ahead and. Ooh. All right, we're gonna play Weave Lightning first. Uh, the next lightning or elemental attack action card you play gains plus two. If it's fused, it gains go again. <clears throat> um, we're going to go ahead and go with Entwine Lightning as the attack. Um, with a lightning fusion, I'm going to go ahead and fuse it with lightning press. Okay. All right, so 
lightning fusion. It's got go again anyway, but that is going to be a three, four, five, five total. Blocking uh, nine. Blocking nine. Okay. That's a full block there. All right. Next attack will be entwined lightning. And again, if you're going to fuse it with lightning press. So uh, lightning is it's just a three. Go again. Uh, I'd say three. Okay. And, uh, in end phase, I'm going to play. Is it end phase yet? Can I go to end phase? Um, pu -pu -pu -pu. I'm deciding if I want to use this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pitch the two to use the one for Rosetta Thorn. And since I have played an attack and a non-attack action card this turn, uh, we will go for two plus two, uh, two arcane. I'll take the four. Okay. In end phase, uh, I'll just play a sigil, a red sigil. Okay. That's going to be it for me. Um, let's see. I need to make sure I'm reading this correctly. Whenever an attack action card you control deals damage, create an embodiment of lightning or embodiment of earth. Uh, when whenever you play your second non-attack action, non-attack action card each turn, create an embodiment of lightning. Okay, so my Rosetta Thorn is a non-attack action, and the Weave Lightning was a non-attack. Uh, non, non yeah. Okay, so I did create both of them. Thorn uh, is uh, not a non-attack action. It is. It's just a weapon. It's not a non-attack. Okay, got you. Uh, so that will go away then. We don't need that. Okay, cleaning up your turn. Good stuff. I'm going to uh, play Art of War. Do you know what Art of War does? Uh, no, go ahead and uh, enlighten me. So, it says I can choose two things. I can either choose attack actions I gain, get plus one, and plus one attack and plus one block this turn because it's an instance so I can play it on your turns so be useful the next attack I play against go again until end I may defend with attack action cards from arsenal and I may banish a card from my hand to draw two okay sounds like a good card yeah so then I'm gonna be banishing uh, a red red screamer so I have, I can draw two, and I'm going to be picking go again. Okay. Pitch is loading currently. I'm going to be pitching a yellow to play Shadow of the Blast of Oh, so now I have no pitch, or I have stop one. So it says, draw and discard a card. If, I, if, a car, if it's a card with six or more, then I get to search my deck for a card with blood debt, and I can banish it. Okay. So would you like to pick one or two? Uh, let's go with one. So one is a red hungering slaughter beast that attacks for seven damage. And that means I can search my deck for a card with blood death and I can banish it. Okay. I'm gonna banish ghostly visit. Ghostly visit states that I may play it, play it for my banish and it is one cost attack that does four damage. Okay. Any on... This is coming at you. Six damage. Okay. Any on hit effects? Okay. Um... One pitch loading. One pitch loading. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, 
that's not okay. Let's go for. Let's go ahead and block two. Block two. Any more blocks? No. You go down to thirty-six, right? Okay. So that's uh, four total that I took. So then, with the one pitch I've loaded, and since I've broken, I'll play ghostly visit from my banish, which does four damage. It does not have gold again. Okay. And to was that a non? Okay. Uh, no blocks. So I'll take the four. Alrighty. Okay. At the beginning of your action phase, destroy embodiment of Earth. Good to go there. <clears throat> All right, we're going to we're going to weave lightning again. Uh, next next card is going to get uh, plus three. We're going to play entwine lightning, and we're going to fuse it with lightning press. Um, so the total is going to be. It's going to be seven. Go again. I'll uh, block for five. Take two. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and use instant lightning press, which is a plus one. So that will be four. That's an eight total. And you blocked for how much? So I'm down to 33, right? Uh, you're down. I was tracking you at 33 right now. Uh, before the attack, I was uh, seeing what the total damage you were taking was. I think you blocked three of it, right? Yeah, okay. I think the microphone is just not picking you up. It's hard for me to catch you. So you, so you're taking five total, right? Or no, I'm blocking for five, and you're coming at me. Got it. Got watch. it. Okay. So it's an eight total, and you blocked five. Okay. Got it. So that's a three total. I'm tracking. You're at thirty. Okay. Um, that is the end of my turn. I'm not arsenaling or anything like that. I'm simply drawing up and passing over to you. Uh, for my turn, I'm gonna pitch a red. To play Boneyard Marauder, banish three cards from my graveyard. Okay. Trickies, you have to pick three of these cards. Uh, just let, let's go like number two, number four, and number six. So every other card, starting at number two. Number two, number four, and then number six. So you hit an endless small, a howl from beyond, and a ghostly visit. Okay. Gotcha for six, no go again, no pitch floating. Six, no go again, no pitch floating. Um. at me for six I'll just go ahead and use this uh, sigil red sigil to go ahead and just mitigate three of that so I'm gonna so go ahead and take uh, three so you're down to 29 right yes
Is that your end phase there? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> I, I, again. It's the the stuff. <laughs> um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, that's. doesn't really it doesn't really help me okay um, I'm gonna pitch for three I'm gonna go ahead and play runic reclamation which is simply a seven attack no go again no cards in hand no resource floating Okay, blocking three and going to take four. On to 26, right? Yep, that's what I got. I have no reacts or anything like that to add to it. I have no cards left, so that's the end of my turn. I'm going to clean up and pass it over to you. I'm going to pitch blue, play Dread Screamer. I have one pitch floating. Okay. And I'm going to banish six cards, or I'm going to banish three cards. <laughs> Uh, let's let's say one three five. So start at the first one and three five. Three and five. So go to endless small the shadow of the last one and the dread Okay. So it's a six with go again. Alrighty, six go again. I'll go ahead and block for three. And that that's me taking three, right? So how much? I'm going to be blocking for three. How much, are you get, how much health are you going to be at? Uh, your attack total was six, right? Six. I barely caught that. You're, you're attacking for six total? Okay, yeah, I got you. Yeah, thumbs up. Okay, so six total. I'll be taking three, yes. So my total life now is at 26. So, uh, do you, like, do you know what happens when I roll my boots? Uh, which boots are those? Gaskin letters. Uh, nah. It says, I have a once per turn action. I can roll a six-sided dice, and I gain action points equal to the number rolled, and it is rounded down. Okay. If I roll four, I get two actions. Roll a six sided dice, and I roll a three, so I, I only have one action point, which is what I originally had. Okay. I'm gonna play my Blasphemy, Doomsday. Do you know what Doomsday does? No, I don't. Sounds good. It is, it's uh, very good. It says, play Doomsday. Six cards in blood day in my banish zone, which there are. And it says I can create a blasphemous the soul harvester token. What this is, is it's a zero cost attack for six, and it's a it's a, a demon. So I could use it every single turn in, in, until you kill it. Okay. Uh, I remember seeing something like that, and he has like a certain amount of life, right? I'm attack you for six with it. Okay. 
And so you're attacking me for six with your your demon boy. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um let's see, let's go ahead and one thing about doomsday or not doomsday about my demon is if you don't kill it in one turn like if you do two damage to it and it goes down to four after at the end of the turn its health comes back yeah yeah i remember uh something like that i'm not extremely familiar but yeah i gotcha so i'm gonna go ahead and block two of that damage and so Yeah, taking four. Okay. Or still it pass. Okay. Uh <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go for a red lightning surge for four. Uh, yeah, I want to go ahead and attack attack your uh, demon to go ahead and get rid of him. Okay, so I'm going to add lightning press to it in order to give it plus three. So that is a seven total attack. Okay, that is the end of my turn. I have no resource or anything like that. No cards in hand left, no arsenal. Uh, passing back to you. <laughs> I'll pitch this. I'll play a Dread Screamer. If I hit this, I'm going against so I don't know why I rolled. Because if I hit a 1, then my turn ends. Ah. Um. Let's go with card number 3. That's a miss. Two more. Okay. Uh, 1 and 2. Okay. So this is coming at you for four damage and I have one pitch floating. Four, one pitch floating, okay. Um okay. four, one pitch floating. Four, one floating. Um I'm going to use my either Iron Weave in order to block one. Um, going to... I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of it. So you had a four. I uh, blocked one, so I should be taking three. Is that correct? 19, right? Yep. So turning that sideways to let me know that I blocked with it. Uh, one through three. So that's a hit, that's a hit, and that's a miss. So, so it's coming at you for nine damage. Nine damage already. How many how many cards in hand? No go again. We'll pitch. Okay. Uh Nine damage. Okay. Uh, I feel like I need to block something. <laughs> okay, let's let's block two. And I'm gonna take seven. Okay. Down to twenty 
fault. Alrighty. All right, we're going to go ahead and invigorate. Yeah. The next attack you fuse gains three. Go again. Entwining lightning is the attack with a lightning fusion. I'm going to fuse it with lightning press. The total is total attack is seven. I'm going to block with my carry and husk. This blocks for six damage. Wow. So you got, you're blocking and you're taking one total so far. I'm going to go ahead and use the lightning press to add two. So what I'm tracking is you would be taking three if you do not have any defense reactions. Well, I'm down to 23, right? Yes. This is the, the best equipment piece in the game, but the thing is... You take one damage each time, each like each turn you start with. But for me, I don't because I don't. I can get rid of my blood debt. Ah. Yeah. Let's see here. Oh. Uh. Let me. Okay. Yeah. There's nothing else that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, passing over to you. We'll be pitching a blue, playing Blood Rush Fellow. As an additional cost to play, I discard a random card. My brood attacks gain plus two this turn. If my discarded yes. card is no more, I draw yes. two cards and blood rush yes. bell beats go again. Yes. Or two. Yes. Two. That's a savage feast that, that does six damage. I get to draw two cards and I gain go again. Okay. I have two pitch right now. Uh, I'm gonna swing my mandible claw for five damage with Golgan. <laughs> five damage. Block two, um, yeah, blocking two, taking three. Down to nine. Got it. Pitching a red, or a blue, sorry. Uh, and I'll swing my mandible claw again for five, but go again, one pitch floating. Five, go again, one pitch floating. All right, let's block five then. Okay. I will be playing... Boneyard Marauder for six. As an additional cost to play, I manage three cards from my graveyard. Through six. Uh, bottom three. Yeah, correct. Boneyard Marauder, Howl from Beyond, and Red Shreds. Coming at you for 8 damage. No go again, no pitch slow. 8. <clears throat> Looks like I'm taking 8. Down to 1, right? Yeah. Hold on. Oh my god. My freaking phone is blowing up. Alright. Um. Do you have any block on equipment left? No, there's no block on equipment left. Hmm. Let's 
I'm going to go ahead and destroy Vexing Quill Hand in order to create two Rune Chants. And I'm going to go ahead and pitch this red to go ahead and swing Rosetta Thorn. That is going to be uh, two, two plus two, two arcane and two normal. I'll be uh, blocking two with scapskin leathers, and I'll take the two arcane. Okay. And that's that's my turn. Passing over to you. Uh, I'm gonna be playing an art of war, bitching a yellow the savage feast so I'm gonna be choosing choosing draw two and go again so I'll draw two cards adding me stalk if if the if I banish one or more it gains dominate one to five uh, how many are we picking? Three cards. Okay, uh, the middle three. So it does gain dominate. So that means you can only block with one card, and it's coming at you for six damage. All right, that's game. Thank you. All right, good game, man. Awesome. Yeah, that was good. That was uh. I was kind of banking on the instance or the zero cost to be able to keep the pressure up but the attacks just kept coming in and they were swinging for so much that I had to make sure I was blocking at least a little bit yeah yeah it's pretty uh it's pretty involved it's very involved Yeah. I can play for my banished. It's it's just people think it's really complicated, but it's a really good deck if you can it. Yeah, no, it looks interesting. Um I just never I've never seen anybody play it yet. Um I've only yeah. been playing since like December, so um it was oh, yeah. it was that's a very interesting character, so no, it was in, enjoyable to watch how it's played and all that, so yeah, it yeah. was a good game overall, though. Start it, you can always ask, you know, always be yeah, man. Well, I will see you back in lobby, and I need to make sure I go and record the thing on the fab. All, all right. right, good luck in the next rounds. Yeah, yeah, you too. Thank you. Ooh. That was very interesting. I mean, it was good. It was good. All right, a loss, back to account. All right. Okay. Table one, not table one. Lobby chat. Okay. Announcements. Crazy. Okay. No, it was that was. I thought I had control of the situation, but then it just started going downhill, <laughs> and then I had a lot of um, I had a lot of support cards come up. There was a lot of support cards coming up that weren't allowing me to do any block at all. So it was either take damage and set up to try to catch up with damage, or block out and get into the pit 
you know, and once you're once you end up blocking out, it's stupid because you're unable to get rid of cards, and that is just absolutely insane. What's going on? Hey, hey. Yeah, Leviathan's a very interesting character. Yeah, no, that's who I just lost to. It was very, uh, it was an interesting match. We were kind of even-ish until we hit about 25. Excuse me, sorry. And then it just went downhill from there. <laughs> I, I ended up getting a lot of support cards that don't have any block value, so it was, it was getting kind of disgusting. I'm playing Briar. Yeah, Leah, I think that's probably uh, Ketsu's hardest matchup. So I think Crater Fist is broken. Yeah. Oh, yep, sorry. Got two, <laughs> I put two cabins. No, you're good. I just, I don't know if you have a crush card in there, and if that came up, I would, that would be devastating. I'm going to crown. Okay. Much, how much damage? It's eight total. And then on hit, um, if the endless spencer hits a hero until the end of your next turn, whenever they activate an ability, you'll create a frostbite token. Activate ability. Yep. So you like you could Aim use two and then you would get a frostbite before you did anything else. Right. Four cards in hand, correct? Yeah. What's the what's the total damage that we have again? I'm sorry. Currently, it's eight. Prevent one. Yep. Because you see, it's you have any you have any cards in hand? One card in hand. Oh. Fuck. 
make uh, three blocks of bent one. I'll pay two for red pummel to make it 12 total. I sell that. Or I'm at one. Uh, 12. Four. No, I'll take eight. You would take eight unless you have a different reaction. I do. Yeah, I do. Son of a bitch. That's the only thing that's going to keep me alive? It is, I think. Uh, shield. You Well, you can't block the shield now, but... Yeah, the defense reaction is the only thing that will help you right now. Yeah. So currently it's eight coming up. Oh, yep. So six, seven, because it gives both cards the plus one. So yeah. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you prevent all of it. Nice. to see one more turn, I guess. <coughs> and you have one card <laughs> in hand? One card in hand? Um, we're gonna arsenal and battle. Okay. Tuna cup. Um, he strikes for five with Gogo. Crown. Yep. One. Four, prevent one. Yep, and then we go again. I will pitch a blue ice, one, two, as well for four. <sighs> Sorry, stream, I gotta eat. Block is good. I will Arsenal pass. Um. Bottom's touch for seven. Uh, take it. Seven, seven, seven. Yep, that's it. I super screwed up that turn, bro. Two, tick tunic up. Um, I will pitch a yellow and pay tunic for. Okanold from Arsenal, double fuse, so nine dominate. Yep. Discard two on hit. Um. Hmm. Block three. Block three. Uh, and take yep. six. Yep. Take six. And then you'll. We get to put two random cards on the bottom of your deck. Random. Yes. So I get to pick two random ones. So we'll do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. That'll be one. That's one. Okay. Uh, one is the one that you keep. That one? That's the one I keep? Yep. And the other two okay. go on the bottom. 
bottom of my deck? Yes. Okay. And then to end my turn, I will pitch a blue to put a Thunderquake face up in Arsenal, creating three Seismic Scourge. Yeah. And pass over to you. Pass? <laughs> uh, they're not in this lobby anymore, so I can go ahead and comment while he's playing. He's got such a strong... Hey, going. He's uh, got sorry, a strong... I comment earlier, uh, but I was caught up in the game at the moment. Yeah, uh, I, I got to play in two tournaments tonight. Oh, I apologize, guys. I thought I had the Discord muted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh wow, Sasha Gray is playing Dying Light too. He had to block it. I mean, if, unless you just want to lose, you had to block it all out. I wish I could have seen that. Wow. Yeah, it's 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 hard to it's hard to switch the momentum back. Oh, for sure. Oh man, so I got to remember that playing against old him. Like if you if you if you have that, like wait till afterwards. Do your thing. Do your thing. <laughs> That's good. Very good game, man. That, uh, that, that, that definitely 150% cost me the game. I just couldn't come back from that. I was trying. I was you were, trying. man. And, and you were doing everything right. And it makes sense to seize on your opponents because you want to see if you can get that third piece that you need. So that makes sense. Yeah, I, if, you I, if you don't have it, yeah. I didn't 100%. think about it that way, but for me, I don't think Opportunity, I could have done it again. 
No, it's an it's a, yeah, it, it doesn't work that way. That's that's a at a different uh, I guess a uh, time on the it's not a stack, so I don't know how to describe the so have you ever events. tried this quakes in that build yet? Because I feel like that is something we should try. So if you put only a quake down and I know it contradicts I, I I'm having that issue. Not really an issue, but it does affect it sometimes. But I, I feel like if you pitch your blue to put a double quake down there, it won't make the four bars. And if you just so happen to have the pieces, you can accommodate that. Um, now it costs me, right? Because you have two sides of the circuits. And if you're dominating Thunder, I can't dominate Thunder. If I could, that would be awesome. Well, I can. I can with Terra Sunder. Terra Sunder, yeah, which I can a lot. That's a lot to do. Um, so, so the only issue with it is, is like, I've, I've, I've tried a couple different variations of this now, um, and I just, I, I just wasn't able to keep that momentum, uh, because I def you definitely caught me slipping and trying to be cute, uh, <laughs> and so, um, you can't clog up the pipeline of the, of the ability doesn't matter, like, I, I've tried just throwing a couple pummels in there, I've tried a couple of the thunderquakes, um, I've even tried the, uh, the pulverized thing, like, uh, uh, with some seismic stirs, like, with, like, this is, this has evolved a couple of times, like, I started out just, like, keeping it as, I'm gonna build it as Bravo, which is, like, some really good, uh, like, electrifies, or, like, you know, the good elemental cards, and I, it's just, it, you don't get the ability off of them. Like when you actually focus in on the ability, if you play your cards right, it's gonna pop off quite often. Um, I was losing a lot of cards out yeah. of hand at, what, at, at at a particular point, and it just it, it, if you get in that realm, you're gonna lose. Oh, so yeah. you have got to stay above the momentum and keep the momentum. Um, that's the that's the major the, the downside. Hey there, gentlemen. Um, we are getting ready to set up up to pair round three. Word. Um, thank you guys for that game. Uh, that was like oh, it was gonna be a headache. Um, Guardian versus Guardian. <laughs> oh, it was for a bunch, bunch of shields against each other. <laughs> yeah, it was a good match. Yeah. Um, I got my my uh, rear end hands to be by the new Bravo there, and then I got my rear end handed to me by Oldham. So, like, uh, here we go. <laughs> oh, two to both of those heroes. <laughs> That's, which I expect anyways, but it's just funny that now both, I came here to watch the both of you finish up together, too. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump into round three. Um, Avatar is up there waiting in the lobby chat. Probably. Hey, Avatar, we're going to go ahead and get ready to pair around three. I gotcha. Hey, Avatar, we're going to go ahead and get ready to pair around three. Then after the round is over, I'll have some post-round announcements. Um, then after the round is over, I'll have some post-round announcements. Um, yet, um, please do so. Um, if you're using pints, as re-entry, let me know so that I can uh, take care of that. And um, I don't have another tournament scheduled for tonight, but if there's demand for one, I'll host one. Yeah. Round three is now paired and ready to go. So thank you guys, and I'll talk to you all again in a few moments. All right. Hello, hello. Yo, 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 yo. Make sure. I'm trying to make sure Andrew's muted over there on his stream. Oh, yeah, making a bunch of noise. Yeah. All right. Turn this bad boy on. Popped out. All righty. Cool, cool. Yeah, I was trying to shuffle while I was waiting for Andrew to finish up over there. Briar. All right, all yes. right. I, yes. I'm interested. 
So the issue I was having uh, against Leviya here in round two was uh, support cards. Um, there was a lot of support cards that were coming up in the middle of my deck that were not allowing me to block. So that was the one issue. Otherwise it was going good. It's going pretty good. Good, sorry, I had my stuff muted there for a second. Um, so, stop streaming. I have a couple people popping in and chit chatting in there now, too. So, I just want to take a quick second to respond to them real quick. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. While I'm um, setting up here with you, I don't know if I would have a sideboard to go against this. I don't know exactly what you're playing or what, you're, what it looks like. So, I'm just going to run my main into you and see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that effect i am all set for everything we do are all right uh forgot to do the cut it's just a 50 50 cut i got a four yep 50 50 is probably okay and uh single dice or two dice i rolled two two okay got and four, we've so. got a seven here seven dice uh your call i'll go ahead uh, and go first <clears throat> uh, yes, Yaris, uh, great job at your locals, and gosh, that's a really good pull. Uh, so, uh, nice job there, too. I'm going to go ahead and uh, play this matchup, and I'll uh, chat with you guys if I can. Um, but uh, most of focus on this until afterwards, and then we can chat all again. Yep, let's... All right. Let's go ahead and spend this sigil right off the bat, because it's there. <laughs> Oh, you're going up to, a, to another life total? Yeah, the, I got the red sigil, so we're going up to 43 total. Um, all right. Excuse me. I do have the sniffles, I apologize. No, you're good, you're good. Um, Come on, attack me! Attack me! <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this card. <laughs> oh my god, this is, yeah, this is not. I am being silly. Not. Yeah. All right. Let's let's pitch red. Swing with Rosetta Thorn. Uh, uh, yeah. For straight two. Go ahead and arsenal and pass. Take two. Coming in for four, uh, combo, go again. Four hit, combo, hits, go again. Card. Four combo, go again. Four combo, go again. If it hits, a draw card. Uh, offer cuts. Four combo, go again. Okay, gonna go ahead and block three and add my ether iron weave to block four total. I 
I will apply breaking scales to it. Okay, and that's uh. Gives the plus one. Plus one. Okay. To a combo card, so I'd be hitting for one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and defense react. Uh. Sigil of suffering. So that's a one. And back to you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, that's the plus one effect. Okay, no. That's uh, one arcane damage to attacking hero. Okay, yeah, so I take one. And it's blocking three. So it is blocking three. Okay. It is blocking three. I'll go ahead and razor it then. So I'll be hitting for one still. Okay. I'll take the one. Yeah. Uh, 40. Back to regular life total. <laughs> but I draw a card. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, let's... Let's Kadachi for one. Take the one. <clears throat> and Kadachi for one. And Kadachi for one again. I will take the one. Oh, that's right. I still I could have done this and got, but never mind. I made probably made a mistake, but that's okay. I apologize. Yep. So the two Kadachis are for two total. I yep. am down to thirty-eight. Yep. I, I'm a silly person. I should have done what I was initially thinking, and then I talked myself out of doing. <laughs> <laughs> Silly, silly. All right, I will arsenal that card that I drew and uh, draw the pass. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and destroy a Vexing Cool Hand to create two rune chants. Okay. Um. Da -da. Uh, Yeah, I don't need that. All right, and then I will go ahead and pitch, pitch for two to swing Rosetta for two, uh, plus two arcane. Is that the rune chance that are popping? Yes, that's the rune chance that are popping. All right, so two rune chance. I take those thirty-seven. Uh, physical. I'll take those. I'll go down to thirty-five. Okay. And, yep. Okay. Passing over to you. Hey, sounds good. Kadachi for one. <clears throat> Take the one. Kadachi for one. Take the one. Surgery strike from Arsenal coming in for five go again. Five go again. I'm gonna go ahead and block two. And so I'll be taking three. Go down to 33. Uh, that'll trigger my mask. Right, you did not draw, you did not block any of the Kadachis? No. Okay. I'll play yellow Welding Gust Wave coming in for three on hit. I draw a card. It has to go again. Block three. 
Mugenshi release coming in for five on hit. I can do the Lord of the Wind thing. Uh, I'll take the five. Trigger, I can search my deck for any number of wins, uh, Lord of the Winds. I pull two, I already have one in the arsenal here. I got, sorry, in that pit zone. Ah, for cuts. Uh, go ahead and 50-50 and then take the second half, uh, top four, bottom. The yep, so now, now that you cut, now take the top four, bottom. Okay. All right. Lord of the Wind. As I play it, I can see I'm getting there. One, two. I have two pieces of the combo in my graveyard. So I can pay two in order to give this plus that many. So this is coming in for four. Four. And these get shuffled back into my deck. Oof. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have to take the four. I will Snapdragon scale it. Uh, what's effect? Uh, it gives it go again. Okay. So four more, down to 24. Correct. And I will play Snatch, coming in for four, and if it hits, I draw a card. Mm. Okay. Uh... Block two? Yep. Take two? Take two. Okay, 22. And I will draw that card, which I will arsenal and then pass. Uh, that was a very good combo. Very Dude, nice. Dude, that was probably the long, one of the longest strings I've been <laughs> able to do. That was impressive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's... Okay. What? Yeah, no. Pretty good aim. All right, we're just gonna pitch one, swing for two. else. Okay. Alright, drawing up, cleaning up, passing over. No initial block. Uh, yep, pass to defense. Okay, sink below. Okay. That was a nope. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the text applies if I use it to block, or no? Yes, yep. Okay. Uh, I apologize too if I was go if I've been going too hard or too fast. Um, 
please let me know if you need me to slow down or if you need me to explain no, it's something a, more. No, it's alright. It's all good. It's all good. I, I play with these, like, super, like, grindy guy, guys a lot, so, like, I just get into the habit of assuming people know things, so I apologize if I've assumed that on you. <laughs> no, it's alright. You're good. If I, if I do, I will go ahead and say something. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. Alright. Follow-up. Well... What's that? Yeah. Huh. Let's go Kadachi. Okay. I'll take your one. Kadachi. Mm -hmm. I'll take the other one. Soul Beach Strike attacking for four. If it hits, it gains go again. Four. Blocking five. If it hits, I also draw a card off a of mask. Yep, I'll block five. Five? Okay. That was a good blocking point. I will arsenal and uh, clean up and pass. Okay. Uh, Arcanic Crackle, three plus one. Uh, okay. Uh, what is it? Just oh, is it uh, three physical, one arcade? Yes. Okay. Interest. I will take four. Twenty-nine. Yep. yep. Attack, action, and non-attack. Okay. Yep, that's it for me. I'll go ahead and draw okay. up and pass over. Could actually for one. Take your one. Kadachi for one. Block two. Pounding Gale for five. Pounding Gale for five. Uh, block two and take three. I will ancestral empowerment that making it six and lunging press that making it so far. Well, let me resolve that first. Draw this up. Yeah, and then lunging press that making it um, seven altogether. So if you block two, you take five. Okay. Uh, let's see, the original hit that I took was three, correct? So I add two to my damage total. Uh, I will have you at 14. Yeah, okay, that's what I was tracking. Got you. Yep. Yep. And that's it? And then I will... Okay. Uh, just... Arsenal, let's try to pass. Okay. Scar for a scar. For four. Yep, four go again. Uh, no blocks. 
any damages or anything? Uh, okay. Yeah. Yep. One instant uh, red plus three. What does it give it's it? A, uh, three, three more attack? Yeah, it's a lightning press for three more. Okay. So I'm at 22. Um, bu bu yeah, no. Okay, that's it for me. Okay. Head jab for three. Go again. Three, go again. Block three. Nice. Surging strike, red. Coming in for five, we go again. Five, go again. Block four. Okay, you're taking, taking one. one. Puts you to 13. I will activate uh, Cat's new ability, bending a zero cost soul be strike to go get a red whelming gust wave. Slap that down, attack before, go again. If it hits, I draw a card. All right, so if the total is going to be four, I'm going to have to take four with that. You got to take it? Yep. Okay, offer a deck cut. Uh, half, top two down. Okay, draw off of the Whelming Gust Wave. Coming in with a ravenous rabble, revealing a red card off the top of my deck, which is a surging strike, just for information. Uh, so that's red, so that's coming in for four. Four. Four go again. And I will be taking four. Puts you down to five, and I draw a card off of Mask of Momentum now. Okay. And then I will play. Uh, scar for scar, coming in for four. Mm -hmm. da, 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 man, I'm gonna have to take four. Okay, that'll put you to one. And I will clean up arsenal and pass. Okay. Pitching three, swing with Rosetta for, yeah, just the two. Yep, block with an ask for two. And that's going to be it. Yep. All right, uh, surging for five. Five go again. Block six. E strike for five go again. Good game. Good game. Yep. <clears throat> All right. So. What's, what's going on with this briar list? <laughs> so I was getting oh, just... I don't know, because like when <laughs> something doesn't work against me, it makes me suspicious. <laughs> yeah, I was just... I had this... Uh, it, this is a lightning briar, right? So I had this lightning uh, fuse... Not fuse. Uh, lightning power-up. It's a weave lightning. It's a red weave lightning. So I was like, okay, I can count on getting some kind of electrical attack 
in my hand in whatever, you know. And then the only card le left that I had was a support card with no defense value whatsoever. So, and I think the issue with this deck is it's got too many support cards. So I need to relook at this because I'm getting way too many support cards that have zero defense value whatsoever. I can't even block out. There was one hand I had two, um, two support cards. So I was only able to block with two cards, period. And you're coming in with like five, six attacks. I'm just like, dude, I, I can't block anything. I can't block um, anything yeah. here. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's it's a good deck. Um, it's it's my first constructed deck, period. So yep. it's it's fun. It's just I get I got way too many support cards. I think. Yeah. If so you, if if you want help um, trying to figure out the numbers and the list and stuff, talk to Ogar. He was just on uh, Briar before the plunder run, and he's been trying to figure out ways to make it work again. Um, and there are some Briar lists out there too that maybe um, you could just use more inspiration to help you figure out what you want to play specifically. Yeah. Yeah, like um, I got a couple generics. I got like a Nimble Strike and like two Nimbleisms um, just to kind of give it a little bit of flavor. But uh, overall, it's just I'm getting, no matter how good I shuffle it, I think I'm just straight up getting too many support cards in the draws. Yeah. So if I draw, see, I got a Lightning Surge, I got a Lightning Surge, which are good uh inspire lightning but that's a that's a support yep. oh it's a it's just a light i have to fuse it in order to do anything with it and a lightning press which is good you know that's yeah. fine uh next Any hand next hand would have been a fulminate a lightning surge a consuming volition and rights of lightning which which uh would have been okay um i had a fuse card for the rights of lightning um, but that, you know, depends on me not blocking with it, right. you know, so I have to hang on to some cards and I have to take some damage in order to get the full effect of the cards. And I'm just getting too many support cards Yeah, that don't give me you anything. You felt the same thing in your previous two games as well? Yeah, yeah. It, it's, okay. it was the same story for all three games tonight. Okay. So. Well, good. I mean, at least then it's takeaways, right? Then yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Positive part of, like, you, even though you, you didn't win the games, you are learning the games, and you'll you'll take away some stuff. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. It was a, it was definitely a learning experience, ex especially for the constructed format here. But yeah, it was yeah. Uh, it's fun. It wasn't taking as long as I thought because. I'm like, oh man, you know, these games are gonna drag on 40 hit points, you know, how am I ever gonna get this dude down? And uh, no, it's it's been going pretty quick. Um, it's yeah. not that much longer than Blitz. Yeah, uh, it's not, it's only 20 minutes longer than Blitz, actually. And that's if it lasts the whole round, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. so. Yeah. I didn't even put a timer up. No, I didn't even put a timer up this round by accident. <laughs> yeah. Um, so some stuff that you want to think about blocking. Um, the surging strikes. Um, you block out the surging strikes if you don't think that I have a welding gust wave in hand. Okay. Okay. That way you can block this. You can stop me from activating Katsu to go get the welding gust wave. Okay. If I hit you with that welding gust wave, I draw a card. You want to try to stop me from drawing cards. Yeah. If I lead the charge here with uh, two Kodachis, always try to block the second one. It forces me to extend further to get that uh, mask trigger. Yeah. Um, that's what I was just like. I was like, oh, man, I have to block at least one Kodachi. Uh, I learned after that first one, I was just like, oh, God, I, got, I have to freaking <laughs> put something out there. I can't just take yeah. the Kodachis. Like I normally would, because I was do. I think we were doing a commoner uh, with Katsu, wow. and I was just taking the Kodachis because it wasn't really doing anything, and I I had to learn the hard way on the first first time you did that, and I was like, oh geez. <laughs> yeah, definitely. This deck is very combo um, oriented to a certain degree, but it doesn't have to rely on the combos in order to be able to function. But if we get the combos going off, then we obviously like you saw. You saw yeah, that yeah. kind of turn was that was insane. <laughs> um, yeah. 
that was absolutely ridiculous. I, I was just sitting here like, wow, he's doing, he's got like seven attacks or something. It was just, it was never ending. I was just like, oh my god, I just went from like thirty three or whatever I was at down to like the twenty freaking, you know, one or I, I don't know. It was stupid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was getting pretty uh, ridiculous. I was just like, maybe I should play a ninja. <laughs> Well, um, so Briar used to be called uh, Cheerios Briar because they played them all the like, zero cost um, cards that you could just like throw together in a, in a long string. Yeah. Almost like that. Um, and you could like do a tremendous amount of damage too. Uh, but then they banned um, Plunder Runs and Ball of Lightnings, making it difficult for that to be able to be built like that. Yeah. Um, so now they have to adjust what tools that they're using in order to do that and in so doing it's kind of slowed the deck down a little bit um and the errata took away the ability to but uh, you know it forced the, the hero to be able to have a have to have pivot points again yeah because like you could just like defend with like one card for a lot of damage uh, a lot of defense previously yeah um crazy so yeah, uh, Kadachi number two, and try to block the surging strike combo somehow. Yeah. Whether you think I, you have to block out, like maybe if you gotta take a lot, a lot of damage, maybe take it from the surging strike and like extra block out the welding gust wave. Okay. That way I just don't draw a card off of it, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like force me to have the answer to be able to pump it up. Yeah. And I definitely block that Whelming Gust Wave to at least one more than it needs. Okay. Because I got a lot of plus ones in here. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, if you're serious about wanting to play Ninja there, if you live in the States, I could probably send you a lot of Ninjas there. Like, I have a good amount of Ninja sitting in this... Uh, box but i don't have like a whole carton or anything but it's like three quarters of one of these uh sleeve boxes of ninja stuff i'm all for people playing that ninja mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah if you look at my profile if you look at my profile page there it says it all there but i'm sitting here working on my cc katsu deck myself while i'm watching the game here <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna buy one more case of this Everfest stuff and then I'll be done with it. I think I pretty much got everything out of it besides the legendaries and the fables. I'll just buy them if I decide I need them. Yeah. Are you, uh, I I'm going for the extended art, uh, hundreds. Oh, and the oh yeah. I'm um, I've got one extended art blue hundred list sitting here that I found in my bulk because I overlooked it earlier. So <laughs> I always, I, I overlooked two cold foils earlier too. It was like, what the hell was I doing? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Uh, yeah, let's see. I, I've got, I've got some somewhere here. Let's see where's my stuff. Got an East binder somewhere. Okay, I've got. One, I've got one blue hundred wins, one red hundred wins, one, uh, I've got the Genesis War Touch Merchant Young Hero, um, blue slice and dice, one red pulverize, one thunderquake, I have two, two thunderquake blues actually. That's as far as my uh, extended art goes besides the uh, the hero, uh, the other one, uh, uh, whatever that new guardian is, whatever her name is. New guardian, uh, is that Valda? Yeah, Valda, but I don't care nothing about that because I've got two cool heroes. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's all the, uh, let me make sure. I have two binders here. I put some of nice. some yeah. of maybe in my pro, my, my other binder. Let's see here. 
No, but I did pull uh, Icelander, uh, Kraken's A3, Gold Crusher for my Fruit Death, and the Mask of Pouncing Lynx, which is the the cheap generic version of Mask of Momentum. Mm. Oh yeah, the the new kitty mask. Yeah, the 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 retarded mask. I've actually got a spare Mask of Momentum hanging up right here. Thanks. So That's... since I play uh, both like uh, CC and um, Blitz, then I, I have like two of every piece of equipment I need. <laughs> And I'm well, thinking about building a young Katsu um, ultimate pit fight deck. <laughs> so I might need like another mask and another tunic, which I have extra tunics, but <laughs> I might just like triple down on my equipment. <laughs> yeah. Andrew's been telling me I should try to upgrade Aether Iron Weave to the uh, tunic, and I was like, yeah, I'll look at it. I'm, uh, I've got a spare mask here for sale because all my. All my equipment that I use, uh, I'll turn my camera on, I'll show you yeah. my mouse. I might be interested, depending on, you know, price points. Let's talk about that off-screen, though. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, is what I've got here. For bases, I keep them all in different things. Like, this is the equipment I use from my Katsu, because i got my rainbow foil promo, because I can't afford the... Uh, you know, eight thousand dollar co foil. So yep. I just use my mask. I'm not. I'm not. I just use my mask to switch it because I keep it along with all my other legendary right here that I use for my different ones, like my scab skins, full cap, my warrior deck that I never use, but I have the legendaries, all of them. So I keep all them. So it's easy for me because I'm. I'm never gonna play. Uh, CC and a glitch match at the same time, so it would be pointless for me to uh, put the uh, others in. I mean, if I pull others when I buy boxes, but I've already got a master set of all the other stuff besides tails, I don't like the stuff that came in tails, so I, I don't mean, worry. You should just set up three tables in a triangle around you and have a blitz, a CC, and an ultimate pit fight going around you all at the same time while you're playing in all three. Yeah, tell him, hold on, let me switch screens and scoot all over. Because <laughs> I actually could, because I have three more desks I have not put together. I've, I've got two desks, but I, so I've got an L shape going on right now. Yeah. Uh, but I, if I had three lap, two more laptops and two more webcams, it would be very possible for me to do that. <laughs> well, but, I want to jump into another game. For the stream to get to watch and i'm gonna do some admin stuff on my side uh check off names and uh make sure that i can do all my admin stuff if you guys are interested in playing another cc tournament tonight uh see my message up top in the event schedule respond there um and i'll add your name to a list and if we get enough people to fire an event we'll fire it yeah, I'm not going to be playing in an event tonight. I just figured while I was working, I'd see. I'd watch some matches. My wife yeah. won't let me play anymore tonight. She's already wanting me to come upstairs. <laughs> yes, this is the last round of this event. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably jump over to uh, Andrew's table and check it out. Yep. So you, so roots, yeah, it'll be the on hit. Never mind. So take five. Yep. So preventing two more. So you take three. My top deck. See what he's got. Hey, what's going on, runner? And how many 
cards in Just hand. Watching, watching my buddy finish out this uh, game here. So I will go ahead and pay, pay the resource. So I have two floating. Okay. Gosh dang. In the old mirror match. Wow. So both of them are playing Oldham. Yep, I'll block one with that. <laughs> oh, is it? Let me uh, let me fix it. Hold on. Oh, jeez. Why is it doing that? That's absolutely insane. Oh, it's probably because I had it um, not focused. Three. Should be good. You paid for it, right? No, this was generated swinging a hammer. And it says at the beginning of your end phase, or when you play a card after the card, you can just return. You pass through my end phase. This was generated by the end screen generator. This is gone. Yeah, you paid for it, though, right? When no, you did. it was generated from. Oh, I got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. Yeah. So paying three to play Channel Lake, and then I'll pay three Winter's Will Iced. Oh, there we go. Winter's Will Iced. Dude, Oldham is like the death and, you know, well, taxes. He's like the taxes freaking thing because he'll, he'll hit you and... Okay, so this is called Flesh and Blood. It's a trading card game. It's a fairly newer trading card game. And uh, it's a really good game, first off. It's really good. But second, this the, both of these characters create effects on their opponents that make them uh, cost one more resource Sorry, no in, in order to do their abilities. So they have a multitude, both of them have a multitude of, of things at their disposal in order to uh, tax their opponent in resources. So in Pokemon, yeah, yeah, this is like a straight, uh, I'm a hero, you're a hero, and all of our cards are focused on that. It's not like, it's not I Gwent out. You have a frostbite token. or anything like that. You know, it's not, it's not Pokemon, it's not magic. So... They have the same uh, idea that you're one on one, but everything you do is like for your abilities or blocking. So let me bring out one of these cards. Um, I mean, you can see my character card there. You can see my character card. So this character is called Briar, and she has a special ability that she can do. Um, she can create essence of earth and lightning. So I've never played Yu-Gi-Oh myself. I don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh at all. I've not watched the cartoon. I've not watched anything. But um, the intellect on the bottom left, the blue, that's how many uh, cards I can pick up per turn. Um... The life there is how much life yeah, you start with macho. and how much uh, the ability is the ability. Now you have each card, not that card, uh, that one's really dark, that one's dark. Okay, check out, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but you got this card here. You got it man, good game, because I'm, uh, I'm going to play it out real quick, but I don't It's got a cost that I need to do, that I need to pay. It's got a color scheme that tells me how much I can generate from using that card. And it has a defense value. And this one doesn't have an attack. But this one has an attack value. So we have eh, an attack value right there. God damn it. Oh, he del did he lose? Pitching nine for this is like, if you have a D-Rap. 
So, yeah, you you had it. You know what I mean? Damn. That was great, though. What was my yeah, just one? lost? Where? Yeah, he had slightly less yeah. life. He was Four he was down five to three. That's crazy. Life. I I just didn't have the. I needed an earth. If I would have had an earth, it would have been fine. Oh man, that was fun. <laughs> That you don't was... play any awakenings? Nope. I don't play any D-Reacts either. So remember at the beginning of the of the game, I didn't side. So normally, and I wanted to see how we played out. So all my D-Reacts are in the side. So all my D-Reacts and then smashing good time is for uh, dash. Hmm. So like... all, all my D-Reacts were over there. Yeah, so I was going to. I was, I was honestly going to bring in Seek, Sync and the Fate for Scenes, but it messes up my blue count. All right, man. Like, it messes up. It adds a bunch of stuff, you know? I might play it in um, a little bit, but I won't be on for too long tonight. Obviously, the Spinals are in there. We were playing, for, for the most part, the same stuff. I have all the Machos. I do play the um, the Fabled card in here. I was trying that out tonight just to see. Obviously, I'm not going to put it in here. The Thunderquakes, I love. I love the Thunderquakes. I didn't see a lot of them. Or if I did, I was blocking for them. But, yeah, that was fun. I was thinking about not playing CNC, but uh, I had a feeling that they would be playing heaps of issues back then. Yeah. So it's almost like CNC is back on the menu because you can let them face up so you can't crown it. That's true. But I never, I never used CNC. Just like that is true. Wait, I did. I did, did I CNC once? I might have just no. said naked CNC. Yeah, you didn't see and see. I um, I love Macho. Macho's great for us, for for yeah. Ultimates. Um, I think yep. it just it strictly is better than. It yeah, it is. Um, and I think I took out a, a glade. I have two glacials still in here. Um, but I did take one out to put the Fabled in because it's obviously just because I play three blue and three yellow for the Prism matchups. Um. Macho's such a good card. And... I mean, if you have Tunic, like, it's filthy. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's it's great. And then, honestly, with a... It's so crazy, but... You can Quake, like, at the end of a turn, just to get the three... Um, three Surges out. And then, if you have a Macho, like, play the Macho over the Quake. And just keep Quake down there. Like, dominate and then leave it here and then do it again like afterwards so i've actually done that um i go super white you messed up that one turn and honestly i had the pummel in hand i should have because i and i had the resources to do it i had the tunic up and one resource i should have pummeled before you defense react so i misplayed there i don't know if you remember that play but i had the e-strike and the zealous um i had to go again but i had the one resource floating and tunic up and pummel in hand and I should have went ahead and reacted with that um, instead of you top decking it. <laughs> Mirror match is rough. You gotta be on your P's and Q's. Play, uh, Play, uh, I, don't, I don't think I do. No. I can I can show you my build real quick. Yeah. I can lay it out because I mean, I mean you've played plenty. Uh, yeah. So obviously you know the equipment have to go over that um I, I thought about bringing sledge in against you i have sledge heart and no, no room boots um crown vendel crater and snap so i'm doing let's see thunderquakes the thunderquakes are in my book are really really good I do play two blizzards, um, obviously ninjas, briars, prism, prism's a big thing. So this morning when I was playing against prism, um, no, I didn't have a, a lot of dark issues. Card in the first game, I, I wanted to see what would happen if I left an aura out, so I didn't attack it, which was a mistake. You ha As soon as an aura comes out, you have to deal with it, it doesn't matter, um, that you can't, like, don't attack them or your turn ends, and that's why I play so many uh, Gogans. Yeah, 
Yeah, and it could be. Um, it very well could be. Pummels. Gotta play the red pummels. Red pummels are just so good. Yeah, for sure. And, and honestly, that's why I I think that's where I misplayed was that one turn where I didn't pummel when I should have. But it's okay. It was still a great match regardless. I like being able to look back and, and seeing like what my lines were and where I messed up because I, I mess up a lot. So I still have the two glacials. Um, I mean, it's still an eight. Blue 8, block 3. I don't ever play it anymore, though, to be honest, unless it's like super late game. If it's super late game, I might play it. Rounds. That card is so good. Frostings. Frostfangs. Blizzard. So this is the um, Fabled. Zealous. Hold on. So only two spinals in the deck. It's just getting, it's getting super tight. The mirror match is so fun. Oh, man. Oh, I need to record that. Okay. No, you're already done. Okay. So, I played Nick this morning, Prism, like three times. He beat me the first one, and then I beat him the next two. The first one, I left his, uh, I left his aura out the very first time I could have knocked it, not, like, taken it out, and that's when he just got traction basically and I wasn't able to um, take care of it you know what I mean he, he just he was able to get his auras and then it just went later game and with the new stuff given his auras you know buffs and everything that new prism aura is stupid because it stacks so this is what I played um, mirror match was rough because of just, I mean, it just went down to the end. That macho at the end was great. Um, I don't have any defense reactions in the main, and I didn't sideboard. I wanted to see how it would do without sideboarding. Yeah, what did you take out for it? So you probably, I'm assuming you probably did one of the one of the one of the ice cards, either frostbang or icy encounter. Yeah. I play ice heavy. Um, I still play endless winter. I still think the card's great. For me, endless winter is like a sideboard card. Yeah. But it is good in some matchups. So is Blizzard. Like I think Blizzard and endless winter probably come in. Some matchups. For me, I don't know what Blizzard's mean. Matchups that. Really, this deck is uh, basically just like the middle and mid range with like a lot of pummels, CNCs, reduced bites to just like strip your hand with like smaller hands. Alright, guys. We got the um, round results ready for you if you want. We have Juice with three wins for first. Uh, Andrew for second place with two wins, and Allie for um, third place with three uh, with two wins. We have two. We have um, we would have three random uh, slots, but I'm gonna pull myself out of the slot, and I'm just gonna give one each random slot to the both of you, uh, James and Derek, and then roll for the third one between the two of you. And that will go to James. Hey, thank you very, very much. Nice. <clears throat> so, what was that? Ten pints, James. Nice. Q. Cool. Two pints. Yeah, I don't. I don't like putting the defense reactions in the build. Really, they. I, I feel like they just clog up. Like I'm either going to take the damage or I'm not. The sink is like all star. It it really is, and I feel like I could definitely just keep those three in. All I run is um, blue stocks. That's it. 
Yeah, I don't even have the blue staunches in here. I just don't have the room for them. I, I could see sink below being a thing. Um, I just don't know what to take out, man. Or I could just add them, you know, but I'm at 60 cards right here, so I could just go up to 63. Not terrible, if you think about how fast you dig through your deck. Yeah, I mean, I could go up to 63 and then play the one smash just for the item if it ever comes up. Otherwise, it would just be a pitch. I could see that being a thing. Because really, lizards are in here for prisms, iras, briars, and uh, Lexi, actually. Either Lexi or... Um, I don't know if the other ranger goes wide or not. I think she just goes tall. But either way, that's what Blizzard's in there for. This The Smashing Good Time, though, is absolutely for dash. And I wish I had more sideboard space. I'd put more in there. That matchup, I don't know how well you're doing with it, but I'm sucking. Dash? Um, I haven't played a lot of expect to see more. Um, I think that... Uh, I don't know if we have a lot of... Played. I don't know if we have a lot of dash players in the tavern. Yeah. The, the thing that I think might be okay with dash is... Uh, six panels and three CNCs. So, yeah. Yeah. Fight, which is very disruptive. It's like non-interactive and disruptive. Which is good, but I could definitely see myself getting like fatigued. Yeah, and that's that's what I was running into with it. Um, now, as long as you cycle pulse down there and yep. a ice card, you can keep it from them doing too much because you can prevent the two, make them top deck. You have an ice to swing Winter's Well back. So as long as you have that, like cycling, you're okay. Um, and so tomorrow, you so okay. Yeah, I, I, I used to have those in there too. But I just don't have them. So, like, like I said, what's I like keeping these. these hmm? what's, be, what's beeping out some of these cards in the air? Um, what's, what's new? So, new would be the Thunderquakes and the Machos. And then the Fable is new. So. Yeah, I'm on go wide because Prism, man, Prism's just a pain. So if you can't go wide against Prism, you're you're not gonna beat her. <clears throat> I don't think. Because they're just gonna get their auras out and just Kadachi, you know, Kadachi you to death. Yeah. So, Basically, a heart of ice, and then depending on how they react. So. Yeah. I mean, I could see Soul Tomorrow would be. I used to play it. I just don't anymore. I, I mean, I have my old like build still kinda together. I just don't use it anymore. Um. So, for instance, I used to do, I used to do Ice Quake, the Winter's Bites, uh, Polar Blast. My blue staunches, earth or surge, and ice quakes. Like I used to put that stuff in there, and then I just kind of stopped. I don't own CNC, so I don't. I just don't care about their arsenal really. What I do instead is go heavy on blue ice. That way, I can defense react to them and make them top deck before they can arsenal. Well, so. the good news is, is that I feel like they're leaning less in this, which is good, which is like a really good thing. Yeah, I played the um, dash. Da so dash and prism were the biggest problems. Viscera is another one, but I think um, I don't know. That one's going to be kind of weird. I think with the macho dominates now, like they're not going to be able to cycle as much. If that makes sense.
I like pulverize. I I had it in the deck and then I kind of took it out. Um, it's a big card for us. Yep. Uh, I don't. So for me, I just that's why I have the thunderquakes instead. Depending on the matchup, like thunderquake can be really, really, like beneficial because if you can get a thunderquake down there, you have three seismic surge. So the card only costs a blue now. If you have Tunic up, that's your fourth resource. So you can... Yeah, if you have a three blue hand with one of them being Terra Sunder and Thunderquake in your arsenal, you can Terra Sunder into Thunderquake. Which to me, I think, is is pretty decent. I mean, granted, you I've can... Heard hand with, uh, with Terra Sunder is good. Well, no, no, that would just be a three card hand. Because you can you can pitch a blue for Terra Summer and then pitch the other blue for your Thunderquake because you have the three seismic surge tokens. So three card hand you're able to Terra Summer Thunderquake. Yeah, I can see that being really good. I guess like yeah. uh, the reason why I'm thinking like I don't like it against my game. Against my game. Against my game. Against my game. Yeah. I don't know, CNC is definitely an ish. But, and that's why I'm still toying around with it. I don't know if I'm going to keep all these in there or not. I might remove some of them. Find, a, find other things to put in. Like, I could easily take out the three yellow Thundercricks, I think, and just put the three sick blows. You know what I mean? But the other reason why I like having the yellow ones in here, and that might be something I do, is just take the red ones out. You know, is uh, prison. So that's the reason why I have such a high yellow count is prison. <sighs> yeah, speaking of Forge, a leak. Can anybody answer okay. the Forge for War interaction with Tunic? Does Tunic? Blade break after it blocks. Um, it so will not break until the end of the um, chain. Right, but then it would it would break though, even though it gets the forge plus one. Oh, because it would have two blocks. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, we need to figure this out because I I was thinking it doesn't. Because like the card is blade break one. Yeah, because it's still gonna get encountered because you did block. Ooh. Is it forged for war or forged for war? Forged. All right. Well, the carbot did not pull it up. <laughs> Forge for War effects persists through the blade break. I don't know. Let's find a job. It's a really interesting interaction. Because I feel like Forge for War is one of those cards where, because Oldham has like, all these things that are like utility zero blocks, like Forge for War would be a monster. Absolutely does. Um, I have it when I put. So. So, according to Sierras, he says that the blade break uh, says when you block, it blows up no matter what. Yeah. So, with, with Forge, Forge is great in Ultimate Pit Fight. Forge is good on stuff like no runes. Like, you can just run no rune if you want. You'll always have that plus one block because it doesn't get a counter. Well, what's awesome is because you have seeds still, and then, like you said, the new oh, tubes. Yeah, yeah, the new roots, and then your hammer. Yeah, it's crazy. And then seeds, you just you can block with seeds and use the ability block with shield for two, so that's four already, and then whatever your boots are are five for a yellow. Oh, 
Awakening was nice. I the reason why I don't play it, <clears throat> and I might go back to it depending because these Macho cards are, are great, right? Um, with Dominate, they have Dominate built into it, so you can just do that and then pummel it, um, which I think you did. So the problem is it doesn't block. it doesn't block anything, and I would always find, especially if I'm, and neither does Blizzard. That's why I wasn't a huge fan of it. But Blizzard is just too helpful against um, Briar and Lexi and Ira Prism. So I, I, I put it in there. Alrighty. But we're gonna go ahead and end the stream right here. It's just the uh, weird banter and Again, you know you post tournament stuff. Free. So if you joined in, I really appreciate you checking it out yeah. and uh, you know give it a like, give it a follow, give it a Are share, all that stuff. You know I, I appreciate everybody that stopped by. You all have a blessed night, and I will see you all later, okay? No, no, uh, the...